you are watching Redicon. After these interesting and informative details about radiation and its sources, a basic question is, do we need radiation protection and why so? Why does it matter to plan and invest in radiation protection? What is so special and different about it? Well, it is mainly because of the fact that we cannot perceive radiation with our own five senses. Can we see radiation? Can we smell it? Or can we hear radiation? Can we touch it? Can we feel it? What about radiation-related heat? That may be promising. Well, that is true that energy deposition can cause heat due to radiation. However, it is a very subtle amount of heat. To give an example, let's assume we have a cup of coffee at 60 degrees temperature, which is approximately 23 degrees more than the human body. It means a difference of 23 degrees, so a sip of coffee containing 3 ml can impart approximately 69 calories of heat. On the other side, a lethal dose of radiation, 4 gray, which is enough to kill 50% of exposed population within 60 days, will have absorbed energy of 280 joules, also equivalent to 67 calories, almost a sip of coffee. Radiation or not perceived by human senses which is why initial days of radiography and x-rays are full of radiation accidents. Unfortunately, these incidents were realized and picked up much later after significant damage was already done. Most of the early radiation injuries were to the hands of pioneer physicians and technicians. Chronic x-ray dermatitis, wrinkled and shriveled, rongen hands of a physician are shown in this picture, he needed amputation of his fingers. A 1906 picture of hands of a London hospital technologist, 10 years after commencing x-ray work. In the second picture, he can be seen using his left hand near the unprotected tube, which likely resulted in the carcinoma of the dorsum of left hand, as shown in the picture. Another picture of hand of a 57 years old radiation worker after 27 years of radiographic work with advanced carcinoma, amputated fingers and severe chronic dermatitis in rest of the hand. This is an example of radiation accident with skin injury, secondary healing and residual fibrotic tissue with scar formation. A large-scale nuclear accident can be very disruptive for human life. These pictures are from Japan. In 2011, Fukushima nuclear power plant spilled a lot of radioactive material into Pacific Ocean and surrounding land. The picture on the right are from city Futaba, which is within 20-mile zone of radiation. The city was evacuated and subsequently it was asked to act as radioactive material storage facility for the bags of radioactive topsoil and debris that have been sitting in fields for years. The exiled city authorities agreed, perhaps sealing the fate of the city, even should it be cleared one day for repopulation. So it is safe to assume that we do need radiation protection and we need it seriously. Radiation doses range from 1 to 3 millisieverts as natural background radiation and can be 4,000 to 10,000 millisievert radiation accidents. Along the spectrum, where to stop and where is the safe point? This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.